Hello from London, Saturday the 21st of March now and last night it was announced that all pubs, bars and restaurants had to be shut. So we're now getting closer and closer to a lockdown situation. However, I can't show you, but outside it's a beautifully sunny day. Spring is just getting on with what it does, completely oblivious to what's going on in the human race at the moment. So enchanting things like a couple of blackbirds making a nest just outside the window here, it's just so wonderful. However, after yesterday's talk about the open throat, that leads me nicely on today about the, onto the subject of throat flutter tongue. Now, you're never gonna hear a Frenchman say three. He or she might say three. The rolling is gonna be in the throat, so lucky French. Because apart from anything else, if your throat is relaxed, then your articulation can also be more free because the two are incredibly connected. So I thought today I'd try to give you some instruction in how to learn throat, flutter tongue. And it's all to do with language. The English language is a very, very hard language in the mouth. The tongue moves in quite an aggressive way. In French, it's much more free, which in turn means that the throat is that more relaxed. Now, I have my flute here. So if I do r, the English way, flutter tongue, it grinds to a halt. If I put it into the throat, wow. So wouldn't you all like to know how to do that? Nothing better to do at the moment. This all relates, as I say, to the, what happens in the throat. And as with yesterday, first of all, what we have to do is to make sure that the throat is nice and relaxed. And as I also said yesterday, well, how on earth? Flute players all over the world, flute teachers over the world say, you know, make sure your throat's nice and yes, 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 of course, very good idea. But what does it actually mean? And I've worked out what it is. So please, all you have to do is put one hand on your throat and just pretend you are deeply unintelligent. One plus one equals uh. Try it. One plus one equals very good. So that's where your throat has to be for throat flutter tongue. If you even begin to think about tightening it, forget about it. So I remember when I was a young student going to classes and there'd be French players teaching and they'd have the most amazing throat flutter tongues. And I'd say, ah, oh, this, is, this is exactly what I've got to learn. I'm, I'm gonna learn today. And I would go home and stand in front of my music stand again. <coughs> and in seconds have a very sore throat. So lesson number one, keep your throat incredibly relaxed as in open. Now, we then have enthusiasm thrown this, so we want to get results quickly, and that, I'm afraid, is a bad idea with throat flutter tongue. So we have to go through a process of training the muscles here to vibrate. And it's very easy, actually. What you've got to do, I don't know if any of you have got dogs, but when a dog isn't quite sure if it wants to bark or not, it literally goes... <laughs> and it's all instigated from the support muscles beneath. So what I'm doing is effectively a cough in slow motion, but with nothing blocking it here. So, so this is how to start your throat flutter tongue. Don't go anywhere near a flute at this stage because that's just gonna cause confusion. It can be practiced anywhere, maybe not in a bus queue. That's not such a good idea because people will think you're incredibly strange. But right now, people aren't really standing in bus queues either. 
So we then have to put it into music, and I suggest that you just start off with short bursts. And over a period of time, you can then extend that. So that's how to learn throat flutter tongue. And you may ask, well, why did I learn it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there is a piece by Pierre Boulez called Memorial from Explosion Fixe. And it's for solo flute and eight other instruments. So it's a very, very intimate, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. So those of you wanting to practice your throat flutter tongue, I suggest you purchase a copy of Explosion Fixe, or Memorial from Explosion Fixe. But it does this kind of thing in it. And with my English r flutter tongue, I couldn't do it. So I was asked to play this concert maybe about 25 years ago. And of course, I wanted to play it, but I had really bad flutter tongue. And there was a minor problem attached to this. The conductor was the composer himself, Pierre Boulez. So I had to learn. Until the next one. Bye bye.